Alrighty, this is Josh Rubin from East West Healing and Performance. Today I want to talk to you about vitamin B12 deficiency. One of the big problems I see in our clinic as well as the United States, and once again this is just my experience, everyone is so hopped up and taking supplements. They live this for that approach. They think they can take multivitamins, B12, HCL, probiotics, um, you name it, and they can actually you know, fill the hole in a bucket that's leaking water. It just doesn't work like that. The body doesn't work with this for that approach. And the bottom line is in our clinic, we don't give supplements, herbs, bioidenticals to anyone unless we do a lab test. Because if you're not assessing someone physiologically and biochemically, then you're just guessing. You're basing what you're going to give that person off symptoms. And when you give someone a supplement and herb, like most naturopaths do in our society, not all, but most, and trainers, and functional medicine practitioners, all you're doing is you're taking an allopathic Western medicine approach, and you're applying it to Eastern philosophy. So you're pretty much doing the exact same thing. So when it comes to figuring out if you're B12 deficient, of course there's lots of symptoms. I'm not going to go into all that. The bottom line is don't just take B12 because someone says, oh, you're tired all the time. You're B12 deficient. You're vegetarian, so you need a vitamin B12 shot. Um, you're over 60, so you need a vitamin B12 shot. Um, it, it just doesn't work like that. That's not how the body works. You might feel better initially, but the second you stop the supplement or the second you stop the shot, all your symptoms come back. And there's always a root and branch to everything. It's because you're treating the branch of the actual issue at hand. So from my perspective, my goal is to educate you on why you might have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Not to go into the symptoms, not to go into how much to take, but to why. And this is based off years of just doing lab assessments. First thing is, it could be genetic, right? I don't really believe in, you know, everything starts somewhere. And if you get it and you're and genetically it's passed on to you, well, it started somewhere. I believe all disease can be tracked back to a stress. They call it genetic, but if you follow the family tree backwards, it started somewhat, somewhere. The bottom line is you could be, it could be genetic. You could be vitamin B12 deficient because of genetics, right? It could be how your parents lived, how they ate, how they thought prior to having you growing up as well as while in the womb. There's lots of research um, to show stress, food, toxins, how that all affects the development, right? And what's passed on to that child um, in the womb. And it's just like Chinese medicine. They believe in pre-heaven essence, which is what the parents give to you, and post-heaven essence, what you create during your lifetime, kind of like two bank accounts. What your parents give to you, though, it can't be added to. So if they give you 50% you know, pre-heaven essence or 50% vital in your bank account, that's all you get, and it's your job to keep it at that, Okay. So pre-heaven and post-heaven essence is super, super important. Another important thing is lack of protein in the diet can easily lead to vitamin B12 deficient. So our goal as, as practitioners is to figure out why this person in front of us has a B12 deficiency. So the only place you can really get what's called intrinsic factor is it actually is in proteins, more importantly meats. This is why a lot of vegetarians are B12 deficient. So lack of protein in the diet leads to intrinsic factor deficiency, which is a precursor to make vitamin B12. So that's another reason, the second reason why you can be um, B12 deficient. The third reason is low hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid in the gut actually helps intrinsic factor bind to B12. Okay, So it's like a, a, it's like a, a recipe to create B12. So if you have light, low hydrochloric acid, you don't have intrinsic factor, you can't um, basically create B12. And there's many reasons why you could have low HCL. It could be bacterial infection, fungal infection, leaky gut syndrome, dysbiosis, H. pylori. It could be chronic stress, the foods you're eating, dehydration, um, taking um, antiacids, prescription antiacids. could be any of those things. But the bottom line is low hydrochloric acid can lead to intrinsic... Um, decrease vitamin B12 because of that intrinsic factor. It's needed to bind to B12. That's the third reason. The fourth reason, I kind of just talked about leaky gut, dysbiosis, parasites, fungus, all these things lead to decreased intrinsic factor, which is the precursor to producing vitamin B12. And I see this all the time, and this goes into my fifth reason. We have so many people, I actually have a client right now with all these fa fatigue and on and on and on. And they've been on vitamin B12 and it's not working. People are making money off selling supplements to these people, and it's just not working. 
Well, the funny thing is a lot of people nowadays from doing lab testing have H. pylori. And you can read some of my blog posts. You can watch a lot of my other YouTube clips on H. pylori. It's a bacteria. And you get it from raw eggs, raw chicken, or sexual fluids. Um, the bottom line is if you have it, your loved ones have it. It's a bacteria that is produced in the gut, or the small intestine, and it's, you create the environment for it. When we get these parasites and bacteria and fungus, you create the environment for it. So the bottom line is, where did it come from? Well, we need to eradicate it. You need to do a lab test. You need to use the right herbs, but that's not the point of this YouTube. The thing is, with B12, we have all these doctors saying, well, you're B12 deficient. Well, we do some lab tests. They have H. pylori. They're B12 deficient because of the H. pylori. H. pylori usually leads to GERD, um, uh, reflux, migraines, gas and bloating, sometimes a fluctuation between constipation and diarrhea, stomach ulcers, and end result cancer, like the five stages of disease. The thing about H. pylori is it actually affects the parietal cells in the gut, which produce hydrochloric acid, which produce the binding factors to produce intrinsic factor, which produce vitamin B12. So you see a lot of people being treated, the branch, their branch is being treated for vitamin B12 deficiency, but they have H. pylori. I have a client right now who's working with the best doctor in the world for amino acids and, and minerals and, 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 and um, things like that, all those types of testing. Well, she's mineral deficient. She's vitamin B12 deficient. So we loads her up on all these things. She's still having symptoms. So we do some basic nutritional lifestyle assessments. We do some labs. She's got H. pylori. That's why she's vitamin B12 deficient. So forget about the, v, um, the B12 deficiency right now. Clean up the gut. Watch our YouTube clips on the 4-Hour Gut Healing Program. Eradicate the H. pylori, right? Heal the gut. Then, and only then, once you've healed the gut and got rid of the H. pylori, focus on the nutrition all along, the protein, as well as healing the gut and adding in the right minerals and right vitamins to actually um, reestablish those pathways so they can produce B12. A lot of the times, eradicating the H. pylori, healing their gut, getting them on the right foods, nine times out of ten, you don't even need to give them vitamin B12. So... That's just some tidbits of information for you if you're um, vitamin B12 deficient. If people are telling you you are through lab tests, the bottom line is you need to figure out if it's genetic, if it's from an HCL deficiency, and why it's from an HCL deficiency, if it's from um, bacterial infection, fungal infection, leaky gut, if it's from H. pylori, if it's from chronic stress, um, or if it's from lack of nutrition and proper nutrition. So... Hopefully you've learned something today. Just a quick YouTube clip for you guys on B12 deficiency. If you want to learn more about us, go to our website at eastwesthealing.com. We get tons of resources, tons of articles and audio programs that are free as well. Visit our blog at joshrubin.wordpress.com. We've got almost 500 posts on there. As well, as feel free to give us a call to set up a free consultation. So I'm out of here. I'm going to go work out. It's beautiful here in San Diego today. Peace.